in the case of Greece and also other countries uh, uh, suffering uh, <laughs> under the implementation of austerity measures, I think uh, we should uh, put in high priority the struggle against um, austerity and in particular we should uh, struggle for uh, social insurance for all uh, separated from paid employment and especially in, in Greece uh, and I think I believe also in, in other countries also uh, paid employment and social insurance are very <laughs> strongly related <laughs> between so um, I think that uh, and this this has an uh, as a, and as a result of it, uh, many uh, women and men uh, are uh, totally deprived uh, from uh, their rights to social insurance and care. And especially for women, uh, a lot of them are deprived from their rights to access uh, health care services and reproductive health care services. So I think at this point, uh, we should struggle for social insurance for all, separated uh, from paid employment. Well, you know, Greece is not actually um, the same case as uh, Poland or Ireland in terms of uh, legal context, for example. Uh, the Greek legal context con can be considered, uh, let's say, progressive. We have uh, a progressive law on abortion uh, promoting uh, uh, women uh, uh, reproductive uh, health and rights. Uh, we also have a labor law, a labor legal context that also identifies and promotes gender equality. So in terms of, um, of the legal context, we cannot say uh, that we um, can see this uh, backlash. Uh, but on the other hand, of course, austerity has a very significant social impact. And uh, the legal context in Greece has totally failed to eradicate it. So, of course, uh, women uh, in employment, in uh, um, politics, have been really, really, uh, have been affected uh, in a very negative way uh, from austerity. I think that uh, collective uh, practices uh, activated uh, in the anti-austerity protests can be uh, used as uh, an example. Um, women uh, are, and the youth are in the, front fr the forefront of uh, the anti-austerity movement in Greece all these eight years. And uh, I think they have uh, contributed in a way to the feminization of uh, practices in the movement. Um, challenging uh, male hierarchies and this uh, dominating uh, male-centered uh, structure uh, of uh, politics. So I think this could be uh, an example uh, and could actually pave the path for a more uh, feminist way of uh, doing politics and uh, um, struggling against inequality. Um, although we are in a very difficult, we're still in a very difficult situation in Europe, uh, we were talking before for this situation of permanent austerity, so this is not really optimistic for us uh, to put our hopes on it for uh, uh, a very um, short term for, for a very close change in the in this reality on the other hand I think it's very positive um, that uh, the um, discourse on the elimination of austerity uh, is really taking into account all this uh, feminist um, uh, recommendation and I think it becomes uh, more and more uh, feminist orientated. Uh, it recognizes uh, the um, significant impact of austerity measures and policies on the life of women and also 
the life of uh, migrants, of the disabled. Uh, so I think this, the, the adoption of a more intersectional discourse uh, while searching for, for alternatives to austerity, I think it's a very positive step.